Hello guys, my name is Adit. Welcome back to my tutorial on how to build a social media website using Laravel 5.4. In this in this video, I'm going to show you how to create post. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's open our project in Atom. Okay, now we can create a controller for pose. In the previous video, we only created a model and migration for pose. So we are now we are going to create a controller for post. So just run PHP or PHP artisan make controller and the controller's name will be post controller and we need a resource controller default it will be plain so we need to type a flag dash r and this will create a resource controller you can find it under app http controllers and it is our controller post controller so here we have a resource controller Okay, let's start by defining our routes. Okay, route get and uh, slash post post controller index. Good. So back to our controller. And now we have to return a view, return view, and we will be having the view inside a folder known as post dot index index. Okay. Now let's go and create the view. Just new folder. File index dot blade php so let's extend our app layout layouts dot app which is inside layouts app so open a section its name is content and here will be the content let's open it in our browser just run the PHP artisan serve local host 8000 and we are here we have just login or we don't need to log in um, go to slash post yes here it is so minimize that and we can start first I need a container inside that I will have being a call uh, <clears throat> column is small of 6 and a column small offset 3 so this will uh, this will give me a column of 6 uh, uh, a 6 width column and it will have a uh, col uh, column of 3 from the starting offset okay so let's create a form here class no class night now we'll define the action later method will be post we need a csrf field oh sorry it's caps csrf <coughs> field okay now we need a form group okay We don't want label. Okay, <laughs> result and create a text area. A name will be post. Or let's just check it and quick. Mm, to us, body. Okay, this is the body. Name is body. And we need a input. For title, 
sorry, <laughs> type is text. The name is title. We don't want value, so change it to class. Form control. Same here also. Give a class of form control. Okay, let's refresh it. Yeah. You can also add placeholder for it. Placeholder and bit title or enter your post title. And here it will be enter your post. Okay. Okay. Let's give it inside a panel. So panel. Mm, don't need a panel heading. Neither the footer. So tab it and cut and paste everything inside the panel. So good. It's more stylish. Okay, now we need a button to submit the form. Uh, input type is submit no name value is post and class will be btn btn uh, primary btn block okay it's good so the button don't work right now because we didn't register the routes so let's is the other root ojweb.php route or post slash post set up post controller at store <coughs> <coughs> Okay, with the boss controller, we don't want the create because we are having the create inside the index. So inside the store, oh, first we have to call the uh, uh, post model. So app slash post. Now in the store method, we have to validate first. So this validate your request and open an array inside the array we need to there will be our validation so first we have to title it is required and it should be unique in posts okay next is the body it should be required and max 255 mm. okay that's all we have to give max 255 to title also okay i think max should be before the unique okay now we need to show the error if there is any error so Um, let's show here that if dollar arrows has title title and close the if condition said so that we'll open a small tab say so that I will echo the error first title <coughs> Okay, let's test it. Yes, and now it's not giving a red color. So I will type if dollar errors. Okay, we, uh, we can separate the input and text area into two different form group. So close here and have a form group 
okay now here dollar error errors has title then has error if else nothing okay let's test it okay this is working fine and we will give a class of text danger okay that's all we, all we want let's copy this and paste it here also as body and copy the same to here body body and we will paste it here okay now it's work fine so let's go in uh, let's go to the controller and start the creating method so first we have to give a new variable for post dollar post equal to new post so dollar post title equal to for our request title dollar body sorry dollar post body equal to for our request body we also have a category id now we don't have any category so we will give it as one for now only and that's it so okay we have a user id also so post user id equal to auth user and id so we are using auth here so we have to call the auth wizard auth we have to save post okay it's done so now we are not all indicated but we can still see this area and we need to be authenticated to be to create a new post so we will give a middleware to this route so is the middleware right here middleware auth now only authenticator users have the right to submit a post so if i click here i write you will bring me to a login page so go to login i will login now back to post now we create a post okay something like test some text here and post okay it's done we can just by going to localhost sorry localhost slash php my admin set of social media database post table here it is we have a image null so i will teach you how to upload image on the next video so now we have to return something like any um, a success message so i will have a session flash okay flash flash success and post was success fully add it all right okay now return redirect to post okay now we will be returned to post session now we have to display the success message over here <clears throat> so before the form i will give a alert success 
and the anchor tag with class close sorry it's and times okay and data this miss to alert they will echo the session get success we'll put it in a if condition close the if condition okay let's try it oh sorry i did test to some text here also post mm. sorry it's not flash it's success okay uh, now refresh and try again mm, test three this is test number three okay here it is we have a uh, success message if you reload we cannot see it so now we have to list all our post here so we will return uh, we will return a we will return all the post to the index page so post equal to post all with or uh, with post or post okay now we have a dollar uh, we have a variable known as post in in this view so we can echo it here i will create a new panel or it will be inside a for each loop for each where will be post and as post open a panel now i want a title okay inside here echo post title there will be a uh, post body okay and print the stitch here it is we have three post so that's all for today's video in the next video i am going to show you how to upload image and i will add a like this like and comment button here thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe please stay tuned for more videos